our needs are very specific, so we need a big open warehouse. We've checked out Vernon, Lincoln Heights, Arch District, Commerce, South Montebello, Monterey Park, East LA. So uh, those are the more industrial areas that we're looking at. Everywhere we go, I find different parts of LA and I find different properties to look at and sometimes there's properties that are really unique and I'm like, oh cool, you know, like if we built like an office like this but in that building or we, it starts to like let me know pretty much like how all the building structures of LA, like what the options are and if I'm able to combine it and kind of formulate in my mind what would be the most ideal location for Bar Brigade, it's giving me a lot of ideas. So far, our front runner is the location that was on Barranca. It's huge, 9,000 square feet. The guy bathrooms has like six stalls. The girls bathroom has like another six stalls. There's like three or four offices to run Barbell Brigade apparel out of. And it's just a big open space with great lighting without even turning the lights on. I mean, that was probably like our 20th property we looked at. And we had a couple other runner-ups, but one got sold and the other one only wants to sell and doesn't want to lease. But in this whole quest of finding a place, like we haven't really found one location where it was just like, ah, oh, this is the one. Like every location we went to, it had elements of things that we really wanted in the gym, but nothing really has stuck out to us yet. There's a lot of different elements that has been making it pretty hard to find something for us. However, uh, we have seen a couple that seem to fit, or at least can, with some minor modifications. Mm. It's really hard to tell. Really hard to tell. Definitely needs a lot of work. What the hell? It's like Chinese people next door. Or they have like a Chinese or Japanese calendar. Okay. Hi. This is an FN. So FN is a cold word that we give buildings if we don't really like it. So every location we go to, we'll write down the address and then there's like a criteria that we want it to fit. And we number it one through five. Five being the best, uh, one being the, the lowest or the least that we like it. But this one that we just saw is straight up fuck no. Like we just <laughs> see the building, we're like, um. Fuck no, we're never gonna fucking be here. It's a piece of fucking shit. And none of our members have ever fucking liked this fucking place and they should burn this fucking building to the fucking ground. Fuck no. Fuck no. Ideally, we wanted somewhere in downtown LA because we just figured, you know, it's a developing area. There's like a lot of open-minded people just because like there's a lot more CrossFit boxes around that area. There's like a lot of younger people kind of migrating there. So we're like, yo, that kind of sounds like it's more of our demographic. So that's where we wanted to start migrating to, but then we started noticing that for the type of money that we have, or like the budget that we have for this expansion, it wasn't really ideal for us because the square footage to the dollar value of it was, it just wasn't ideal. I'm not feeling it just because there's no sprinklers. Uh, it's kind of in a not so great area for the numbers. I wouldn't be too comfortable with uh, the cars here. And looks like there's a lot of work that needs to be done to make it worthwhile. We got, we got holes in the bathroom here. Oh boy, what is this? This goes straight to the outside, huh? They don't even got enclosures for the windows. I mean, it's great ventilation. That's what you're looking for. What is this? Library. Also, the lights are half on in here. Hey, check it out, Aaron. I turned on the lights. <laughs> you can't even open for business yet. Did you see that whole side there? Let me tell you something. I know this guy named Aaron and I know this guy named Hector. When you put them together, miracles happen. This is it. We just need to have a lot of PLC. Yeah. First of all, we got the bay door in the back. We don't gotta worry about people trying to sneak in. That's number one. Number two, we got plenty of outlets in here. <laughs> This so far is like pretty perfect. It needs a lot of remodeling, but it has so much potential. I really like it a lot. Jill's dad was just checking it out to see how much all the renovations would cost to make it look presentable so we can get the business up and running. He uh, estimated at least eight grand. Just cosmetics, not even building showers and building other functional amenities. It's gonna be probably like 20, 30, even 40 grand. We have to consider everything and just kind of make the best choice with everything we have right now. Still trying to take a look at a couple left that we need to look at. 
kind of narrowing it down now. Still need to find a place that's got adequate potential for growth and eventually we want to start having meets at the gym and uh, we're also looking for some places where we can accommodate that. It's pretty fucking big. It's a lot more affordable than a lot of the other places we're looking at. But the area kind of sucks in terms of growth potential. Like it's just a lot of uh, industrial, big trucks, junkyards, like that type of neighborhood. There's not that much like foot traffic that we'll get. It's kind of out of people's ways. I don't think that the workers around here are gonna be like, oh shit, cool, there's a hardcore powerlifting strength gym, I'm gonna join it, you know? This is where all the Chinatown thugs keep all the drugs. We're in uh, Chinatown. We're in the middle of Chinatown. But Chinatown is Los Angeles, so we're just looking at spaces. And uh, it's pretty convenient actually. It's uh, right off the 101 or the 110 or the 5 or whatever you want to call it. The pros, it's a big open space. It's pretty much renovated and ready to move in. The cons is the neighbors are kind of weird like in terms of branding for the business. It's just like straight alleyway of Hong Kong here. And then you have a random hardcore powerlifting gym. It's just we have like an incense dealership on the right and then we have like hanging ducks to the left. If we're a kung fu school, it would work out perfectly. Checking out the first handful of locations was really cool just because you don't really get to play around with the design of the layout and everything in your head until you actually see the physical location and you're like, oh shit, you know what, I really didn't even think about you know, placing it this way or designing this in the, on this wall or placing this over here where the sun's gonna hit it or opening up these doors and having like this bomb ass breeze like come in uh, while you're working out on a hot ass summer day. It's kind of been super stressful just cause we can't look at it at our leisure and we can't be as creative as we want to be anymore. Now it's about, okay, can we afford it? And how quickly can we move in? So if it's too run down, we're just like, okay, dude, we have to pass cause we have less than a month now. We have to think about you know, how are we gonna move the current location into this location? What renovations do we have to make? Can we afford it? Do we have enough time? So it's, it's really, really, really stressful for everyone right now. I really like the space. It's huge. And the pricing is pretty good. I think given our circumstance, and we're not like running on a $10 million budget, we just gotta work with what we have. And based on what we've seen, this has like probably the most potential. This would be ideal, but uh, we just gotta make sure it's good with the city. Definitely gonna make an offer just because everyone's filling it. The only thing that's kind of scary is they want us to obtain a permit for us to operate out of here. And word on the street is this particular permit takes about three to six months to get. So that's kind of the next hurdle we have to overcome. And that's kind of the roadblock that we ran into where no city was willing to understand. And some cities are so big to the point where you can't even talk to a person. There are only a sheet of paper with a bunch of rules and regulations that you just have to read. And of course, they're not gonna cover every single detail. And most of them are geared in the direction of, no, you cannot have this many people visiting an industrial area. So out of the 40 locations, one of the last ones we viewed was this location in northern downtown LA, also known as Lincoln Heights. And the minute we stepped in there, it just felt really good. We walked inside, we're like, wow, this place is really bright, it's spacious, it's not as big as we want, but it feels really cozy. We could rock with this. And it was in a specific part of LA called the Enterprise Zone, where they're extremely flexible because they're trying to redevelop LA. It was a miracle that this last location that we looked at fit 90% of our criteria, also fitting the city's regulation, also with the perfect move-in time that we're looking for. It was literally this location or Barlow Brigade would have been shut down for, who knows, three months, six months, a year. So it was actually like just a stroke of good luck. The landlord was looking for a business with a very interesting story. He took pride in helping businesses develop that are very creative and that's what our strengths were. Barlow Brigade started from
from Bart and Gio. Two YouTubers that specialize mainly in comedy that eventually found a passion for fitness, created a fitness channel, and then a fitness apparel company later had a dream to create the ultimate fitness facility. And that story was compelling enough for the landlord to take a huge risk on us. And I also hope that we do well enough that we validate that he made the right choice. So now that we have the lease, next comes the fun part. This is the part where it gets all creative and we, we know exactly what we want, we know what the members want, and now it's just time to put smiles on our members' faces. They were gonna open a gym and I was looking for a powerlifting gym for a while. A friend of a friend posted a video on YouTube about the making of the gym or whatever and I clicked on it and I was just like, this is exactly what I've been looking for. 